Hi everyone, sorry about that last upload, went absolutely crazy. So before I start getting any crazy questions, uh, I'm out in Texas, I've come out here with work, it's not a, a fun journey. Um, I got an invite to come out on Saturday, ended up flying straight out here, was out here by Monday morning. What's going on, hope you're all good. Um, so yeah, it was pretty crazy the way that the whole thing worked. Really, really enjoyed uh, being out here so far. I've been out here for the last couple of days. It's been crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, the way that the whole thing just ended up working out. If you've got any questions for me, please make sure you put them in the comments box below. Um, Texas is sick, mate. It's so, so good out here. Um, had an epic, epic day today. Went to see the guys at Rogue American Apparel. <laughs> Yeah, just the whole trip was nuts. Uh, said a quick hello to Wes from um, from Rogue America. Ended up with a massive stash. So if any of you are fans of uh, of Rogue American Apparel, this is uh, this is what I bought. <laughs> so I ended up uh, getting a ton of stuff. So I've got uh, some Invader Coffee. I got some goodies from the, the guys over at Invader Coffee, guys and gals. Uh, loads of limited edition stuff. So a white Death Dealers, which is uh, limited. And then uh, the Owned by No Man as well, which I think is now limited. Uh, and then I got some stuff from Richie as well. So I've got Richie, a gold Death Dealers, the Texas patch, and uh, the Rider on the Storm, which is the brand new t-shirt from Rogue. So yeah, crazy, crazy day. I've got this epic view out the window, which I'm going to try and show you. And there's constantly here this... Uh, this, this um, uh, America flag, and then here you've got the uh, the one from Texas. So it's super, super crazy. I absolutely love it out here. Really, really nice people. Everyone's so friendly. Um, it's been really good, it's been good. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, got any questions for me, fire away. I will try and, um, I will try and see all of them. Uh, if there's any super chats or anything, please feel free to fire them in. I will, uh, I will uh, jump onto the stream so I can see what's going on. Where can I get an LBX plate carrier uh, in Europe? Speak to Tactical Kit. The guys at Tactical Kit will be able to hook you up. Guys, if you're watching, please whack that like button. It really, really does help me out. Just quickly throw a quick thumbs up on the video. It'd be fucking awesome. I'd appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah, speak to Ian uh, at Tactical Kit. He will hook you up. Um, just say that Tim sent you. Uh, you at Care went for Sterling? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, unless uh, something else comes up. But yeah, I will be there. Thank you guys for going and dropping a like on the video. Appreciate it. Um, I'm going to jump on the video myself. So um, so I can keep an eye on the chat. The chat. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff I've missed. Uh, so yeah, super, super excited about that. Thanks for dropping a like. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been crazy. I absolutely love it. So many cool people. I've been running pretty much every day, um, so I can run from here, like right down towards the river. I don't think we're going to be able to see it. Um, I don't think we're high enough. But essentially, right over the back of all these buildings, this main road down here is Congress. So this is one of the main roads in the whole city, uh, and the uh, river is over that way. And uh, I've been having a run down to there most most days, apart from today. Uh, I will go through any questions. Uh, what are you doing? I'm over here with work, um, so I'm over here to see a client. Uh, I've been trying to do Instagram. My Instagram is so, so bad. Like, no bullshit. Like, I'm not just saying this. Like, I try and put as much content onto Instagram as possible. It's just terrible. Uh, it's just terrible. Uh, I brand though, where's your hat? I haven't got it yet, but downstairs you can hire um, cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. I will get one. At the minute, I've got my... Uh, my death dealing hat. Uh, what's your Instagram? It's Tim underscore the Heresy Group. So yeah, check that out. So guys, thanks very much for joining the stream. Any questions? Obviously, you can see I'm uh, over here with this wonderful uh, flag flying in the background. But yeah, it's been really good. I've enjoyed the trip. I've got like another five days. Um, I've done a little bit of shopping. Uh, I think Adriano was asking about going to do some shooting. I'd probably try and get some shooting in. I've spoke to the guys over at Texas Dynamic Shooting um, and I'm going to get back to them. The issue is, is getting out there. I've been so busy. So um, if I can get out there, I will. So yeah, so it's all good. Um, I much prefer the YouTube platform um, in regards of going live. This is so much better for everyone. Like people can come in and check the video out. Um, I really wish I went live from the Rogue Apparel store. That would have been super cool. But I just didn't get time. I had to go there and I had to get back. So kind of sucks. But it is what it is. It's done now. 
but yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Thanks for dropping a like. Love it. Um, if you've got any questions, airsoft related or not, let me know. Um, I'm going to start looking through the questions. Yeah, Instagram is shit for going live. It's not good at all. Uh, I have a TM416, the new one. Best way to amend the battery so I can use LiPos. Uh, yeah, it, uh, Abdullah, if you're in uh, the UK, send it to Camo. Camo Raids, um, just Google Camo Raids, all one word, C-A-M-O-R-A-I-D-S, um, and you can look at the LiPo conversion. Best thing to do, send it to him and get, um, Abdul, yeah, get it. I mean, you could look in Sweden to get someone to do it for you, but um, Merrick at Camo did mine, done a great job. I've got silver oxide wiring uh, inside it. Just speak to Merrick at Camo Raids, he'll do it for you. Just mail it over, get some, up, you know, get some upgrades done while you've got it sent over there. Um, knock them down there, soft. What do you think about silly liberals ignoring facts while still wanting to take away our Second Amendment right to bear arms? Fuck me, that was a long question. Um, I actually was talking to the guys in Rogue Apparel um, a lot about this and the, uh, the the rights, the gun rights, what it means, um, how you know it affects the US in regards of like school shootings and that sort of thing. Um, I think my opinion, and this is just my opinion, is that if people want to hurt other people, they'll do it with a knife, a gun, uh, a car, whatever. Um, but I think, you know, Americans are very much built on the values of the amendments. So, you know, you can't give, an, you know, give someone the opportunity to have freedom of speech and all this other shit and then say that you can't have the right to arms when you wrote it in the Constitution. So I just don't think that you can ever go back on those... Uh, on those rules that were put out there, you know, once you've said that people have got the rights to own guns, uh, they've got the rights to own guns and that's it. So, you know, I, I think, you know, Liberals, Democrats, whoever have the issue, um, once you've said someone's got it, they've got it, you can't take it away. My opinion, anyway. Um, just my opinion. Uh, knock them down. Sorry, let me just uh, go through these. What happened to Mus Matt the Musketeer? Do you know... Him, uh, my favourite airsoft is UK Classy with their videos. Uh, Matt stopped doing it. Um, he just had a little break. Whether Matt will come back to doing videos again, I don't know. But um, yeah, Matt the Musketeer's videos are very good for gameplay. Uh, he come under a lot of shit for his videos. So um, I don't know. It's difficult to say. I don't know if Matt will come back if he wants to. But he always got a lot of slap, you know, a lot of stick for his videos. He put a lot of work into him. I like Matt. He's not a bad guy at all. Um, but yeah, I think he just got fed up with doing it. Uh, you're going to be taking the bikes to care when I've been using my, I'll be using my car, hopefully, old bag of shit, catch me whipping about. Uh, yes, we will be having the bikes um, at care when. As far as I know, anyway, I've got to speak to Matt, but as far as I know, we will have the bikes at care when. Uh, so yeah, that that is as far as I know anyway. Uh, uh, do you know a great company which specialises in the CTSFO airsoft uniform? No, I don't. Uh, I don't know anyone that does one. Viper do some grey kit, but it's crap. Sorry, buddy. Is it tactical box? For the plate carrier tactical kit so tacticalkit.co.uk kicky mustang james is getting stick it annoys me when people shouldn't judge if they don't know the person well yeah i don't know the full story i need to catch up with james i know that he's fucking he's super pissed off but i don't know i don't know uh <clears throat> i don't know exactly you know I, I don't know everything that's been said i don't know both sides of the coin but i know james is getting a lot of shit um, I don't know the full story behind it. I saw his video and uh, I saw the whole cheating thing, um, but I don't know what the rest of it's all about, sadly. Um, but I do like James. As you guys know, I'm a friend of his. Uh, I like his content, I like his videos. Um, that's it, really. Though. Without knowing more about the situation, that's all I can say, sadly. Sorry. Oh, it's super rare. I love this little wristband, look. 
probably my, 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 one of my favourite sayings, stand for something. Uh, uh, your vids are killing my banks. Uh, thanks, buddy. Sorry, dude. Um, yeah, never mean to put up videos that make people, you know, go and oh, fall out money. Um, I just done four hundred dollars in uh, RAA, so I know your pain. Like three hundred pounds on clothing, is what it is. Uh, yeah, I met the bloke. He's alright. Just fed up of every video of his full of headshots. Yeah, it is full of headshots. Read my post on it. You'll see my thoughts on it. Uh, Skengis Khan, go to um, uh, facebook.com forward slash the heresy group. You can read my post. I never used to shoot people in the face unless that's all I could shoot. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Is it true that airsofters don't get as much money for videos because of YouTube mixing them up with real still videos? Yes, exactly. I uh, love the ghillies they create on sniper ops. Yeah, their ghillies are incredible. Yeah, I'm about that centre mass life. Uh, un unless, uh, you know, un unless you can do something else. Yeah, Task Force M4, appreciate that, dude. Yeah, um, we're trying to press out the best kit we can. Uh, we're trying really hard with the channel and the videos. We're constantly working on it. Me and Richie are constantly up to shit. So, um, yeah, really do appreciate that, mate. Uh, not here, no, not yet. Uh, Skengis Khan, I haven't shot anything yet. I've been too busy. I've been working literally every single day, all day, for the last four days. This weekend, I'm going to misbehave for sure. So if I can get to a range, I will. Um, if I can do some shooting, I will. Maybe Sunday. I don't know yet. Ever thought about joining the British Army? No. I'm too old now anyway. But no, I haven't thought about it. How's the Degru TM holding up? Long-term review anytime soon. Uh, yes, I will do a long-term review of, this, of the M4. I actually put a video up not that long ago. You can go and check out. There's a video called Tokyo Marui 416D. I think it's best airsoft gun. Uh, go check it out. It's not that old, that video, and it does go into a lot of detail about, um, about the, uh, the gun itself, so... So yeah, if you, uh, if you want to go and check that out, that'd be super cool. Go check it out. Yeah, Texas is absolutely incredible. Um, Texas is really good, just a fantastic place, lots of very, very nice people, um, great food, great drink, yeah, it's fucking good fun out here, it really is good fun, um, sorry guys, I'm going to have to, yes, I, uh, I have seen the bolt recall shocks, uh, I shot one at Rapid Fire Airsoft when they first came out, they're really, they're very punchy, but at the same time, like, <sighs> They feel clunky, that the trigger's heavy, they just, I don't know, for me, I, I just think that it would annoy me more than, uh, more than anything, you know, because of it feels such a clunky gun, it's really heavy and very manual, very mechanical, which some people really like, I just personally don't, I just want something that's nice and light, very responsive, you know, at the end of the day, as much as these guns want, you want these guns to replicate a real steel gun, you also want the creature comforts of the fact that it's not, that there's minimised recoil, that they're very responsive and stuff and things like that. But you, you can't, uh, yeah, Abdullah, yeah, it, it, it's exactly that. If you want a recoil, you cannot beat the TM. They're just, they're, they're just better. They're better. Right, uh, sorry guys. Let me catch up with some of the comments. Skengis Khan, all they need to do is legalise weed, it'll be a perfect state. Uh, they shouldn't be judging people slowly based on their views and or hobbies and cutting the monetary value of said videos in question. At the moment, nothing is scared sacred in the terms of constitutions. Yeah, they... bang on, mate. If you could choose one airsoft rifle for the rest of your life career, what would it be? Scar L. Um, yeah, Scar L, 100%. Fucking love the gun. It's amazing. 
Guys, if you are in here at the minute and you haven't liked the video, please drop a like on the video, especially these live ones. It's super, it really does help me out. So if you haven't just clicked the like, please click the little thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it so, so much. Um, trying to catch up with all the questions. Uh, no, I haven't got my hands on a real scar rail yet, but um, if I can while I'm out here, I will. These flags look so cool. It's such a shame that you can't see these properly, but. Yes, Mr. Stango, how are you, sir? Uh, like the man's video, I'm the only one. What was that? Guys, like the man's video, I'm the only one that liked the video. No, everyone has, it's got 15, 15 viewers, so it's good. But um, yeah, it just helps out with these live streams if people like the content, it's cool. It pushes it out to more people. Um, I know it's a bit of an awkward time to do a stream, so for me, it's, uh, it's five in the evening, so you know, for you guys, it's, it's late. I know it's like 12 o'clock at night there. So, yeah, I won't... Uh... Uh, can you hook me up with a discount buddy on Tactical Box? No. No, I can't. Um, Ian will kill me. I can't just give out codes. Uh, should I sell my TM MWS GBR for a recall shock? Yes, you should. Where do you live, Travis? Let me know where you live. Um... But yeah, I, I don't like the gas guns. I think the, you know, the, if you really want a gas gun, then yes, they're the best. But I just never, oh, I live in the States. Okay, well, yeah, maybe you do. In the UK, gas guns are shit because it's so cold. They're not great at all. So something to consider. Uh, colder weather, gas guns don't work well. Have you ever attended Burger in Sweden? No, but a few people have said to me about it. The only concern I have is that I know a lot of people that have gone to Burger and um, it's been so busy that they haven't really got stuck into any action, which is a shame. No, uh, same with Border War. They're a huge number of events. This is a thing though, Adriano. I've seen the guys use propane. That's what Dan Stango and all them. Dan was in here a minute ago. Dan Stango and all his boys used to use propane, and they still had issues. Um, CO2 is the same. If you see, if you shoot CO2 a lot rapidly, it gets cold. The mags get cold. The plastic gets cold. It causes problems. Um, so regardless of whatever the gas is, they're still a nightmare. And also maintenance on CO2 is is bad as well. Uh, thoughts on the SRS Silverback picked up, picked it up over the VRS. But wonder if I made the wrong decision. Currently, our hot DDGI barrel concave nub, 100% compression, etc. Travis sounds perfect, mate. Um, they're both very good platforms. The VSR 10s probably got more accessories for it than the SRS, but people love them. I know that Kicking Mustang and all his crew run the SRS, and they absolutely love them. Uh, I have an RWA Nighthawk Custom. It's an amazing pistol, reliable, recommended it. Yeah, pistols, yes, but um, you know, it's not often that you're licking off loads and loads of rounds on a pistol, whereas with uh, M4 AR platform, you uh, are definitely gonna be firing off a lot of rounds, wah, 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 and that just causes the gun to get cold quickly. So um, yeah, that's one thing to consider. Uh, Skengis Khan, the VSR feels way too toyish for me. Yeah, compared to the, uh, the SRS, Definitely toys, the SRS is one for one completely. The upkeep on the GBR rifle can be a bit tedious if not an M4 platform. Mate, even if it's an M4 platform, they're a nightmare to keep on top of. Look at Sam, like Adriano, you know Sam, Cam, Chris. They've all got their GHKs and they have to rebuild them after every game. Travis, love the channel by the way. Content quality is top notch. Thank you very much, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Uh, what mods do you have? Uh, I don't run a MOSFET. Uh, I use uh, the old standard trigger contacts. I don't use a MOSFET, but Richie does. Um, he uses a Gate Titan in one of his guns, and the other he's got the Mark Zero uh, from Turn It Off there. So, yeah, that's something to something to have a look at. Yeah, I know loads of people that have done that, Adriano. Loads that have um, that have gone back to AGs after running them for a long period of time. It's tedious as fuck. G 
Cheers, iBrander. I appreciate that, dude. Absolute legend. Thanks, buddy. Skinkiest Khan. Uh, we're wondering if I'd get in trouble if I sparked up a fat spliff at a mill sim. Yeah, Skengis, if it was on a mill base, then yes. You probably would. But then even any mill sim, I, I, I don't know. Depends how you handle your weed, I guess. But uh, for most people, I wouldn't advise it. But, you know, if you smoke a lot, it's what it is. Um, sorry, I got cut off with a question about the MOSFET. Okay, dude, um, I don't run a MOSFET. Uh, Richie runs a Gate Titan. And um, then he also runs a Mark Zero from Turnis Off There, the new, um, the newest uh, MOSFET for Tokyo Marui. Yeah, Skengis, if you smoke a lot, you'd probably be all right. Uh, do you get lockups? I do. No. No, I don't get lockups. Um, I, I know that you get lockups if you're really heavily hitting the trigger. But um, I'm quite light and quite delicate with the shots and, you know, I've got a real thing about rate of fire and stuff and just being, you know, very, um, I don't know, very concise with the trigger. So I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Uh, Adriano's seen me play, I'm, I'm quite tactical. I do like the EFCS systems, they have really surprised me. Yeah, the electric fire control systems are very good, especially in the Ares guns. Ares have great EFCs. Um, G and G are good, to personal opinion. Yeah, it's just the bodies on G and Gs that are shit. Um, yeah, I really fancy giving the Aries VF fifty. Yeah, Magadapter a go. Do you know how the uh, Heyo SMS compares to the Geisley that comes on the four and six Delta? TM announced the new full black four and six Delta, but wondering if I should just get the black Heyo on the Dev Group. I would go for the Heyo on the Dev Group. That would be my opinion because it's much cheaper of an option. But. Um, it's a fucking good rail. Both of them are good. I'd imagine that, you know, realistically, the materials are the same uh, and the machining process is very similar anyway. But um, the, the, both rails look beautiful. Uh, what do you do? What do you do wear in the cold under your... What do you wear in the cold under your BDU? Gets pretty cold in Swindon and the UK. Uh, under my BDU, it depends. If it's really cold, uh, I use the Helicon V2 uh, thermal set. On top of that thermal set, I have uh, an Arcteryx RH Ho, and I sometimes wear that underneath. So, two layers. If not, I just do the base layer and a BDU. And if it, again, if it's cold, I wear the Helicon V2 set, and then I wear the Arcteryx Leaf RHO over the top, and then a BDU. Uh... Looks like to know the hail is slightly different color tone. Not sure if that will drive me crazy. A lot of the builds are mismatched. I mean, the look of the gingers. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Adriano. Yes. Well, the issue with the hayos is that they're batched, so each batch is different. My hayo is different to the color of Matt's, and Matt's was a different color to other people's. They are all very different. Um, mine's actually more brown. If you look at mine, uh, I'm in Texas until next Thursday. So yeah, I'm here until next Thursday and then I'm going to Stockholm. These flags look so cool. It's a shame you can't see them properly, but they look awesome. Uh, any more questions, guys? I'm gonna bounce fairly soon. It's like 10 past six here. I wanna go and get something to eat and a drink. Do the new TM pistols shoot differently from the older ones like G17? I read new changes like larger nozzle, etc. Uh, Urban Stealth Camper Van Man, hello. Uh, what's going on, brother? Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I've got the TAC 45. It's a new um, pistol in, in, in terms of um, Tokyo Maru pistols. So it is a, it's a newer pistol variant, but it shoots incredibly well. The range is fucking awesome on my pistol. Uh, the best range I've ever had out of a pistol is out of the TAC 45. Um, yeah, I'm in Stockholm for a week, and then I'm in Brussels after that. I think I hate Brussels, it's horrible. Yeah, the flags are so cool. Let's just see if the, the Texas one's flying. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, there you go, you can see it now, right? So cool. Such a great view to wake up to. It's literally at the end of my bed, that view. Come on. So yeah, my phone is super hot by the way. Yeah, I will do another review, but Abdullah, if you go and check out the latest video, it's only about three weeks old. Uh, appreciate it, dude. Uh, Hank Von Roon, red pill or blue pill? Uh, I can't remember which one did which. I'd leave the matrix though. But yeah, um, we do need to do a road trip. Uh, I've spoke to a lot of people about doing road trips and I'm definitely up for it. So I just wanna do a very quick few mentions on this video. Uh, a massive thank you to all of the guys at HR4K. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be there at your launch party, but to everyone at HR4K, thank you so, so much for all the support. You know I fucking love you guys. Uh, I wanna say a massive thank you to the guys over at Rogue American Apparel uh, for all of the swag, because I. I spent a fortune, but I'm so happy with it. So thank you so much. Um, I want to just thank uh, a few of the brands that have just stuck with me through thick and thin uh, and through all the bullshit uh, that's, that's ever happened. So, you know, being out here makes me really realise when I get messages from all of the companies, you know, Warrior, from the guys at Claw Gear, um, from oh, t there's tons of people, uh, Ian at Tactical Kit, that say, you know, have a great time, enjoy yourself, I know you work hard and all that sort of shit. So... It is really nice to uh, get their support. But so guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. I know it's late for everyone that catches this stream tomorrow or over the weekend. Have a great weekend, enjoy yourself. It's Memorial weekend here. So uh, I will be going out and having a good few drinks with a few of the American colleagues. Um, once again, guys, thank you for joining the stream. I fucking love it. Um, you know, I love the support that you will give. I will be home soon, releasing more content. Um, but yeah, if you haven't whacked that like, whack that like button and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. Charlie, I'm just about to jump, dude. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all soon. Take care, guys. Peace out.